Hi, and welcome back to the channel. And in this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you an AI step process that can greatly speed up how we make characters for games. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. But first, let me share an insight with you of how much time this process will be saving you. A few years ago, if we wanted to make characters for games and animation, we'd have to get someone who knows how to use the software or learn the software yourself. And that involved us getting someone who could do concept art, which you could then take into your 3D software and then begin to start modeling. That process wasn't very easy or fast, depending on your skill set. It could take you anywhere from a few hours to up to a day or two. But we're talking about character modeling, texturing, rigging, and then animation. And that is why this AI assisted workflow tutorial was made to show how you can collaborate with these AI generative platforms to help greatly speed up how you create characters that you can use for MVPs that you can then use to go and pitch for funding or track talents that will join your team. So first things first, we're going to start from round zero. Mina story is focused on the art side of game creation, where we will be starting from how to make concept art, even if you're not an artist. So uh, we're going to dive into the first platform, which is Leonardo.ai. This is a 2D generative platform that can help you generate art and for free. So just go to websites by tapping Leonardo.ai. It will bring you here where you can launch the app. Now, if you're a first time user, you would need to log in and create a free account, right? So once you log into the platform, you will be welcomed by the home screen where you can see works of in the community. But let's head on to our work, the work we're going to be using for today. So to head on to see your work, you're going to see your own personal jobs. You're going to go to personal feed and scroll down to scroll down to the work we'll be using for today so for today's tutorial we'll be using this particular character it's got cute good character click on it to open it up so these are some of the works i've been experimenting with anthropomorphic creatures uh, with cybernetic parts and uh, this goat is in that series so the good creature will be our main character for this tutorial now to get your artwork to look like this you need to follow these rules. One, the character must be on a plain background. Two, the character must be in T pose or A pose. Three, you need to use keywords like symmetry body, T pose, full body, game assets, and play background in some locations. If you follow these rules, you'll be able to generate characters like what you see on the screen that you can use as concept art to make your own characters, be manually on the 3D software, or you want to use AI platforms. For this tutorial, I'll be using an AI platform to convert these images to 3D. So you can pause the video and copy the, prompt, the prompts if you want to. So once you've generated the character you want to generate, you can now download it to your system and then we can head on to the next stage. Now, once you have downloaded the character to a folder you have access to, we can then head on to the next platform. The next platform we're going to be using to convert this image to 3D is triple3d.ai. Now, triple3d.ai is a 3D AI generative platform that can turn your prompts to 3D or your images to 3D. I'm going to be using that for the tutorial today. The qualities are, are way better than any other platform I have seen so far for free. And we're going to be demonstrating that today. And you guys can be the judge in the comment below. So just click on quick start. If you don't have an account, you will be greeted with a login screen where you can log in for free using a Google account. But if you already have an account, you just be logged into this homepage where you're going to find artworks, of other people on the platform that have done amazing jobs with the platform too. So now we're here on the platform of Triple 3D. The first thing we should take attention of is the button at the bottom of the screen. Uh, there are input slots and buttons at the bottom of the screen. First things you're going to notice when you come in are these amazing character artworks or generations of people in the community. And then at the bottom of the screen where you see enter your prompt here. We already have an image we want to turn to 3D. So we're just going to go look for the add image icon, this one, and just click on it and navigate to wherever we save that image we downloaded from Leonardo.ai. So click on this 
will open and the image will be added to that slot where you're going to enter your prompts. And then after a few seconds, the platform will change every character on the screen to something similar to what you are asking for. And I don't know if this is just to let you know that the platform can handle this job or other people are doing the same thing on your platform. So there are other users doing the same thing on the platform. So yeah, just click on the big yellow button here, which will take the five credits from you. I forgot to mention the platform gives you 600 credits first time you log in. And I think that's what they do every month. Give you 600 credits you can use for free to generate artworks. Be careful, they run really fast. So we'll click on our big yellow button and the platform will quickly generate a draft for you. Now the draft you're looking at here, you can either decide to retry, free try to regenerate if you don't like what you're seeing. But I like to like open up the draft to see it for real. But look at it here, and I'm just going to click, just going to click on refine button. The other buttons widgets here, we will talk about them later. And for now, just hit the refine yellow, big yellow button, refine to refine your artwork. Once you do that, your screen will change back to the home screen. And but don't worry, don't worry, your work is happening in the background. If you look at the top left, you're going to find the triple logo and the, some buttons under the triple icon right the create is for the home screen my models is where models are my models is where you're going to find your models and you can see i have done this before i've generated so many characters so we can go ahead and look at some while we wait for our character to generate the high res version the platform will give you um, a low res version first and then you go ahead and hit the refine button to get the high res version these are other ones the first job i've done this was another image on the other platform that i now brought here to be turned to 3d high res is almost done and the high res is done the platform has done a good job to try to refine the um, textures as best as it can. Now, if you already have like a 3D skill, uh, if you're a newbie to 3D, if you're not a newbie to 3D or texturing, you can take this to Substance Painter or somewhere else and then fix the textures. But this is fine for us right now. For the sake of tutorial, we're just going to continue with this. And everything you can be fixed, you can take this to a 3D software and fix the hands if you want to. So now that we have our refined character done and ready, what we need to do is download it, right? But before we download it, there are a few features on the platform we need to first take note of. On the bottom left, you're going to find where you can favorite the work or share it and even delete if you want to, among other features. Then on the right, you're going to find three widgets or four widgets. Uh, the first one is going to be rigging an animation. Meshi2 is doing the same thing to where you can rig and animate on the platform, even though it's behind the paywall. But I still prefer to rig my character in Mixamo. Uh, so yeah, we're going to skip that, skip stylize too. And then we're going to come down to custom, retopologize and format. For the custom, if you click on custom, you're going to find other 3D softwares you can select and just export to. Um, we just leave it at custom because we can't find Blender there. So I assume custom work for Blender. Then now we can move on to Retopologize. Retopologize is how you kind of re-optimize your mesh to work properly in game engines or 3D softwares. So we're going to just click on Retopologize and it will open up options for high, medium, low res game assets. Since we're trying to focus on games, we can just choose game assets. When I checked the platform earlier, a few weeks back, I noticed that there were numbers here. The numbers no longer show, but I think for game assets, you get 3,000 and for low poly, you get 5,000 poly counts or face counts. Once we've chosen the game asset, we can choose the file format and choose the FBX because we're taking it to Mixamo and we need to have it an FBX or OBJ. So once we have our settings set, we can now click on the download button. You notice the download button carries another 10 new units you're going to spend. So to generate from image to 3D, you first spend 25 units from your 600 and then to refine it to higher quality you're going to spend extra 20 and then now to download you're going to spend extra 10 so that's that's 55 credits already gone so you have to be careful because like i said earlier the credit goes really fast so just click on download and then we'll watch it convert so we're going to wait for it to convert it to the fbx mesh and download it and i'll come back when it's done so the file is downloaded, it's done. Now let's download it to our system and then prepare it so we can get it ready to be sent to Mixamo. But before we send it to Mixamo, we need to take it to Blender to fix a couple of issues that arise when I first tried to send it straight from Triple 3D to Mixamo. I faced two issues. One was texture issue. The texture is embedded on the mesh, so you might not find it gets lost when you upload to Mixamo. And then second issue was rigging. The orientation for the 3D mesh 
straight out of triple wasn't optimal for mixer mode to rig it properly so i had to take it to blender to fix those two issues and i'll show you how i do that in blender 4.2 so we're here now in blender 4.2 and we're going to bring in the mesh here i'll show you how i fix the issues that arise when you send it straight from triple to mixamo without going through blender to import our file we can drag and drop easily in blender now so just go to open your folder drag the triple 3d mesh here and we will get this window for fbx import click on import and your file will be in the scene you can see it comes in facing the positive x so we need to go to our front view front photography view by clicking one on the numpad and use the move to the left here to drag it up so it's above the red line and then now we can to rotate it to face the screen we need to use the end panel for that tap n on your keyboard to activate the end panel select your character go to item so you can see transform and then we're going to go to the rotate on the z-axis change that to minus 90 degrees and then on the x turn that to zero yep so we'll fix the first issue with the orientation it's now facing the negative Y, which is the front photographic view in Blender. Next thing we need to do is to export our texture out separately so we can have access to it when we bring a character back down for Mixamo. So click on the material preview to see your textures and we can see while we're trying to do that, we can also check on two things. First of all, let's check the topology of the mesh itself, right? So go to edit mode, you can see topology. It gave us very optimized for games, really cool. For game developers that don't need this stress, this platform is there to help you out right now to get access to your textures we need to go to uv editing so go to uv editing and then you find your textures go back to object mode and then we can now go to image up on top left of the uv window save as we can now save our texture as an image that the character can use whenever it's looking for its texture so we're going to do goat underscore t underscore diffuse just save those are two things we need to do to get the character ready to be taken to mix up. Back to layout, while your character has been select, it's still selected, make sure the character is selected alone and then click on file, export, FBX. And then we're going to send it back to that file. We're going to rename it to Goat Creature. Rename it to Ghost Creature. And on the top right, we're going to leave it as Path Mode Auto because we want that uh, when the, the mesh gets back down from mix up mode, to automatically just link up with the texture that we saved in the same folder with it, right? So, and then click limited, limit to selected objects so that only what we selected will be exported. And then we're done with Blender for now. So let's head on to Mixamo. So we're in Mixamo now. Mixamo is an online platform owned by Adobe that can automatically rig your characters in under two minutes and also boast of a massive database of motion capture data and also some characters you can use all for free for games for films and more right login if you have an account you're just going to log in but if you don't have an account register is free with google i already have an account so all i have to do is just click there continue then continue so once you click on login to platform you're going to have to see well be welcomed by uh, massive database of characters and animations, right? We can also upload our custom character to the platform. So if you look to the right, you're going to find download, send to arrow, and then upload character. Click on upload character and this window will pop up. This window is going to give you from what to do here and then show you the file formats that Mixamo works with, which is FBX, OBJ, and Zip. I stick with FBX, it's easier for me every time. So you can either click this button to navigate to wherever your folder is, the asset is in your folder, or you can just drag your asset to this place and you just upload so click on this let's navigate to the folder and we are looking for the ghost creature for the files you're looking at right here are this is the image you got from leonardo that we sent to the triple 3d platform which gave us this file and then we send that this file now so we send the triple 3d convert file fbx down to blender and where we're able to get it to orient it properly and also get the texture out saved and also exported the fixed file as an fbx which we named Ghost Picture. We're going, now going to upload that Ghost Picture file, FBX, to Mixamo. So let me repeat. 
we got the file from, from Leonardo, which we then sent to Triple 3D, a 3D generative platform, which converted the image to 3D. And then we downloaded the mesh to Blender to fix the issues, orientation and texture. And then we exported that mesh we fixed in Blender as an FBX, which we have now uploaded to make some more. So some of doesn't show the textures, but don't worry, being that we saved it, when we bring it back down, it automatically gets its texture back. So we can just click next here. Here is just to arrange your character. So just click next. So now we have been brought to the next window where we can, uh, where we get access to functions that will allow us to get this character rigged by the platform. So we're going to just move these points to where they indicate the, uh, the chain, move it to the chain, the wrist, move it to the wrist, move the elbows to the elbows, move the knees to the knees, and the groin to the groin. So these points are all to help the platform know where to rig, right? And even if you're confused about the words, the icon at the side will help you understand where the, the color coded uh, circles should go, right? So yeah, at the bottom, you're going to find symmetry, use symmetry. We help us for just moving. If we move one side, the other side automatically just follows, right? Then skeleton LOD, being that the character's fingers are not really great, we need to just change this here. It's, we only need to get drop down options and then choose to change fingers and then we just click on next. And the platform will begin to do its thing. We're going to just speed up and come back when it's done. Okay, so the character has been rigged and it looks good. So let's click on next and we can find our character. We've been rigged and ready. Right now, you can just download the character as it is to your system and also download the motions you need and then take it to any game engine you want with the textures we saved and then you can have it to use as an MPC if you want to. But we're going to add motions to it and download it back to Blender so we can see the final form, right? First, we're going to get motions. So go to animations, look for something simple like a walk. We're going to get the mutant walk. I click on mutant walking and the character will automatically just have that motion transferred immediately. And we can also fix all these mesh issues if we choose to. But so far so good, we reduce hours of work down to minutes. So we reduce hours of work, probably days of work down to minutes. And if you're a professional 3D artist, you can also take the next level where you can take it to Blender or Substance Painter or Maya or whatever you are good at and just fix any issues that might arise. So let's download this as it is right now. You can download button to give us an XBS file. All the default settings are fine. So just click download. And in a few minutes, we're gonna get this to our, to our system. There it is. So, so now that we've had our character from 2D to 3D and then rigged and animated, we can now take it back to Blender with these animations and see how it looks. So open up the file. So when Blender, this is the old mesh, on rig mesh, we're gonna just hide that and then go and bring in our rig mesh, which is called Mutant Working Now. So just drag this to Blender, minimize the screen, and just click on Import. And now we have our character. Nearly comes in, it will link up with the texture we already exported out, and it's already set to work. The work frame is 45 frames, so just change our end frame to 45, because that's the length of the work animation. And now, you can play animation and watch our character work. This traditionally would have taken you hours of work or even a day, and we just turned that to minutes. So if this tutorial helped, please let me know in the comments. If you have a question, request, let me know in the comments. And like, subscribe, and share the page. And until next time, peace. Go, hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave.